everybody so in today's video i am going to do a review on the dark cosmetics products that i got first of all i'm so sorry i'm not feeling so well today but i cannot tango this video anymore because ramai yang tengah tunggu for my review thank you so much uh and also i don't really know if i have um free time after this so we just going to roll mm, today juga so i'm so sorry i'm so sorry kalau nampak um fountain ke apa mencorah <laughs> so yeah in this video, we are going to talk about the dark cosmetics. I I, I don't know how to start. Tahu lah nak review dark cosmetics. Perlulah pakai dark scarf. Perlulah. What kind of question is that, Novatin? Benar ada. Kalau kita review Team Malaysia punya merchandise, of course I'm going to put on my Team Malaysia punya t-shirt. Kan? <coughs> Alhamdulillah. Woohoo! Anyway, um, I'm sure everybody dah familiar dengan dark group. Dark group yang buat dark scarf tu, yang buat KL dark semua tu. So dark cosmetic is one of the dark group punya line lah. I personally love Vivi Yusof and also Kak Siti. Oh, my best friend and I, uh, bukan best friend yang beranak hari tu, dia ada best friend. Munira, Mun, Munira, Muni. We talk about Vivi, we talk about dark all the time. Cara sembang tu macam lah Vivi Yusof tu kami punya best friend. I'm not a ducky. I mean, I'm not a hardcore ducky by the way. I don't have dark tower. Tapi semua tu tak ada ke mana because I'm going to review these uh, products based on a makeup junkie's perspective. I don't know why I have to point that out because you guys already know how I review things. Kalau suka, sukalah. Kalau tak suka, tak sukalah. So, let's just begin. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, marilah kita mulakan. So, okay. Dark Cosmetics launch five uh, products. Lipstick, liquid lipstick, lip gloss, uh, eyeshadow palette and also makeup remover. So, I just got four products out of five. Initially, I wanted to buy the cosmetics of their uh, website from Fashion Belay. But I feel like I have to go and test, at least wash the products out, uh, tengok whether they are, you know, appealing to me. So I did not get the lipstick because it is a macam nourishing, moisturizing lipstick. Macam it has sheer, buildable uh, pigmentation. So if that lipstick uh, is in a matte formula, I am going to grab that. But because it is more more to hydrating punya lipstick, um, I did not get it Pas I takut sekejap tak pakai By the way, I can just review ni Based on the products that I got The shades that I have So, tak boleh nak kata Kalau lah this um, shade macam tak okay Kalau not necessarily ada shade pun tak okay FYI By the way, semua packaging ni memang sangat top notch It comes with an insert Lepas tu, dalam tu ada ada box And then the insert tu pun Memang dihiasi dengan illustration With the uh, ingredients The name And also some um, cute Put from D. So the first uh, product that I'm going to talk about is their liquid lipsticks, uh, Matte Decision Lip Cream. This is in the shade Minimally Tracy. So it has green tea scent. At first, I just heard support tas cakap dia punya bau green tea. Pas baru macam oh bau green tea. Tapi green tea awangi lah, bukan green tea macam ayak green tea minum kat Sushi King tu. Hat tu bau serabut. So they have five liquid lipsticks, if I'm not mistaken, and this is the nude color. <laughs> Minimally Tracy is like a nude. <laughs> Peachy coral color. So the color is beautiful, but formula wise, it has like a cream, thick cream texture. Um, I won't say that this goes on very smooth. This liquid lipstick is pigmented, but on my dark pigmented lips, I have to much like, build up the coverage because I know I feel like much like, like a little bit draggy. Dia bukan patchy, tapi much like, kalau you swipe macam ni, tiba tiba hilang dekat sini, so kena top up dekat sini. Bila swipe macam ni, dekat sini pula hilang, so kena top up, top up, kena pat. Gonna pat pat and top up on the area. So yeah, I have to build it up to get the fullest pigmentation. It dries down matte, but it is not fully transfer proof. It has slight transfer, uh, and then it does not dry to a comfortable matte. It feels a little bit tacky, tapi agak mengganggu perasaan juga lah the stickiness tu. Um, for me personally, I don't really like um, sticky liquid lipstick. Kalau ada sikit-sikit tu, yang bearable tu, I'm okay with that. Tapi kalau macam too sticky tu, I... So, all in all, uh, I'm not really a fan of this liquid lipsticks. This shade in particular, uh, I'm not sure about other shades. <laughs> Maybe other shades tu formula the lain. Sometimes, macam tu lah, nude colour macam sticky tapi darker colour tak sticky sangat ataupun the other way around. Darker colour macam sticky tapi nude punya uh, comfortable. But this one is not my uh, favourite formula. This one retails for RM75. Excuse me, sedih sad. Bayar RM75. Don't get me wrong, dia punya packaging apa semua tu memang menawan hati. So you know, tak adalah bitter sangat. Bayar that much. Macam kalau kita naik flight business class. 
kan Takkan nak duduk tempat selesa saja Mestilah kita rasa sejuk Hati bila dia pun bagi tawa lah Bila dia pun bagi free toilet stress lah Macam faham tak? Macam worth it lah rasa So this one Formula wise Not worth it <laughs> All in all This is not my favorite um, formula I have other liquid lipsticks from local brands that have better formula and feels a lot more comfortable than this one with cheaper price. For example, Brina Beauty uh, and also Obsessed Cosmetics, Bourbon Cosmetics. But that one, I think, I believe that one is 80 ringgit. Tapi that one is awesome. So will I purchase other color? No, I don't think so. Out of all the shades too, I am attracted to only this color. Tapi sayang now. Tapi sayang Ah, situlah cerita dah So, moving on to lip gloss Glossy Girl Lip Gloss This is in the shade um, Kasi Serena This one pun packaging dia sama macam liquid lipstick tadi It comes with an insert and in a box Very huge box For this standard size punya packaging But it's okay, it's okay I appreciate that I love that, I appreciate it This lip gloss is a clear lip gloss With, um, I would say Pink, glitter, pink, shimmery This one, this one I love Dia punya shimmery glitter tu macam tak lah too much Sampai rasa macam pasang lampu raya dekat mulut It definitely gives um, shine to your lips in a beautiful way It looks so luscious So luscious and glossy It doesn't feel sticky It feels a little bit slippery but come on lip gloss Mesti lah kan Tak adalah macam too slippery sampai rasa macam macam tu Feels comfortable, looks so beautiful on the lips I think tak payah sepatutnya takut macam mana nak pakai lip gloss You can use it alone on its own It looks very beautiful Dengan shimmery-shimmery pink tu But you can put it on top of other lipstick Cantik juga Love it This one cost uh, 65 ringgit. So I think this is the only uh, clear lip gloss Hard lip gloss tu semua macam pigmented lip gloss Lip gloss with colors They are quite pigmented Bukan macam sheer lip gloss For example The nude uh, lip gloss If I'm not mistaken Nama dia basic blair You can just put that on And it can cover the whole lips Faham tak? Dia macam liquid lipstick But in a glossy form Faham tak? Tapi yang macam colored lip gloss tu Semua feels a little bit heavy Because of the colors As compared to this one This one feels comfortable Oh, comfortable gitu. I absolutely love this one. I feel like they nail the uh, lip gloss formula. I'm keen to try the other colors. I think I want to pick up basic blair after this. But yeah, I recommend this one. Awesome. Moving on to... Wih, cepat je kita review. Oh, moving on to eyeshadows. So, I pick up the uh, nude palette. They have only two. Smoky and also nude. I pick up the nude. I swatch both of the uh, palettes in the store and I feel like I can benefit from the nude palette more uh, compared to the smoky palette it retails for 135 ringgit so you get 10 eyeshadows and you get 2.8 gram for each uh, single pen so there is I think almost twice the size of individual eyeshadow pen macam from Makeup G ataupun Colourpop okay so it is twice the size twice the amount so you get some um, shimmery eyeshadows some matte some satin eyeshadows when I first swatched this palette I was uh, attracted to this gold color this black one and also this peachy copper color and those three swatch beautifully very pigmented tapi huh, itu bila kita swatch dengan finger lah bila kita pakai dekat kita punya mata guna berus ah uh, lain pulak cerita dah so I've used almost all of the colors Except for chocolate fudge and also cookies and cream. I'm wearing all of the colors today. So let's just go through what I have on my eyes today. So I put cinnamon sugar as the transition color. This one has a cool in the tone. Dia macam light cream macam tu. I blend it on my crease. And then I went with a chocolate crispies. This one bila swatch macam tak pigmented sangat. Tapi the brush definitely pick up more pigmentation. But I feel like this palette uh, lack some transition color macam warm chocolate brown ke ataupun kalau tak warm pun deep chocolate brown ke so i just had to go with my uh, makeup geek coco bear on the crease and then i went with the black color the black is awesome swatch beautifully using your finger and it performs well using a brush but i really love the black color i keep on adding more and more because i was macam ooh seronoknya pakai black ni ooh very awesome 
best best yang black punya best and then I went in with honeycomb the gold color yang macam very attractive sangat tu but I was quite disappointed lain lah bila swatch dengan tangan bila and bila guna brush ok tapi tak apa itu bukan alasannya kita can go with our finger tapi bila guna finger pun dia macam ah boleh lah boleh lah boleh lah ah, macam tu je macam tak lah macam wow fantastic baby So I went in with uh, my finger Tapi itu pun tak adalah rasa awesome sangat And then I use brownie at the center of the eyelids So for the lower lash line I use the black color And I smoke it out using chocolate crispies And also make a git cocoa bear And then I highlight my brow bone using vanilla pudding And I attempted to highlight my inner corner using vanilla pudding juga Tapi it is not too highlighty So I mix that with honeycomb The other day I created a simple look using uh, pumpkin spice and candy floss but I couldn't find any transition color in here to work with those shades so I have to grab my other palette so all in all kalau lah ada more transition color more matte color that you can work with this uh, shimmery colors alangkah indahnya I really love it if I don't have to reach for other colors outside of this palette tapi itulah tak semuanya perfect dalam hidup ni tak semua juga eye palette comes with all of the shades that we need ok put that thought aside katakanlah kita ni macam tak kisahkan nak grab other colour outside of this palette aku nak eyeshadow lain ke apa tak apa tapi I don't think that eyeshadows dalam ni makes me want to go and grab only the eyeshadows dalam ni faham tak? <laughs> you know sometimes ada eyeshadow colour yang macam kita kita nak guna eyeshadow colour tu kan dekat kita punya eyelid so kita kena tapi kita ada satu single eyeshadow tu je so kita kena work with other eyeshadows to create the luak-luak-luak ni lah transition lah outer corner semua ni baru kita put that single colour tapi dalam palette ni tak ada colour yang I feel like I want to grab that colour to put all over my eyelids tak ada colour yang I feel like I want to work around that eyeshadow colour faham tak? it's not that because of the eyeshadow colour alone dia punya formulation tu pun is not that impressive In my opinion, tak macam BOOM The only colour that I think I will reach for after this Is the black The black is so awesome Very pigmented Very black I love it Other than that I am not sure if I'm going to reach this palette so often I have other eyeshadow colours yang Colour lebih kurang sama Tapi work better With be better pigmentation Better blendability Personally, I don't mind Kalau palette ni dia single pen tu tak sebanyak tu I already have more eyeshadows with better pigmentation with even smaller size in that palette rather than big uh, single eyeshadow pen with uh, more products tapi tak berapa awesome so overall it is not a bad palette bukannya tak pigmented langsung it has some pigmentation it doesn't have fallout to me it's just an okay palette if you come to me and ask If you say that you have 135 ringgit budget and you can only buy one palette, will I recommend this palette? No. I will recommend for you to buy Colourpop eyeshadow palette ke macam the Yes Please palette. I have a review on that, FYI. Untuk local brand, I will uh, recommend Sofana Cosmetics punya palette which costs less than 100 and it comes with a variety of colours in a single uh, palette that you can work with and create many looks out of single palette tapi if you are a true ducky and you really want to try this palette nothing I can say that can stop you kan kalau dah beli kalau hati dah nak tu nak jugalah so I would say that this is just an okay palette not terrible but definitely not my favorite lastly I got the makeup Uh, remover triple action makeup remover so this is a 3 in 1 makeup remover uh, it removes your makeup it acts like a cleanser and a toner all 3 in 1 I got the refreshing punya formula they have 3 refreshing brightening and also hydrating so I went with the refreshing because <laughs> tak tahu apa rasa nak refresh muka ni this one This one, I like. Bila you shake, shake it, shake, shake it, you can definitely tell macam ada ayak dalam ni. Tapi bila you pump keluar, dia keluar foam. Okay, bubble-bubble foam. If you are familiar dengan cleansing balm ataupun cleansing oil, konsep dia sama. Dia macam dissolve your makeup. Cuma ni cleansing balm tu, dia oil based. This one is water based. So how I like to use this one is by pumping two, uh, two, three pumps. And, I, and then I rub it all over my face macam mana kita cuci muka guna cleanser tu uh, sebidik lah guna this one you can use this to you know clean up 
uh, swatches on your hand ataupun you can use it on your face to clean up your face makeup but what I love about this one is it does truly remove your face makeup memang kasih muka very clean spotless like I mentioned before this is not just a typical makeup remover it is also a cleanser and a toner so selalu kalau kita guna cleansing balm tu usually bila dah remove makeup guna cleansing balm tu we have to go in with a cleanser untuk double cleanse so this one yang bestnya sebab you don't have to go in with your cleanser you can if you want but you don't have to and I love that this one doesn't uh, leave your face with a tight feeling tau tak rasa macam dry tak rasa macam macam kerak muka tu rasa macam dry sangat so it doesn't feel like that it feels refreshing Cuma nya, pasal dah, I keep on mentioning face makeup, okay? Face makeup. This one, <laughs> jangan sekali-kali guna to remove your eye makeup because this one stings, okay? Jangan nak ajak-ajak macam shampoo Johnson and Johnson. Tak pedihkan mata, pedih, pedih, hat ni pedih. So this one definitely is meant for your face makeup only. Memang dah gatai basuh mata sekali with this makeup remover, basuh rasa macam <laughs> kasim. So you have to remove your eye makeup with a uh, regular eye makeup remover first baru go in with this one to clean up your face which is quite a bummer kalau you compare to a uh, cleansing balm cleansing balm tu macam oil based so you can use it all over your face you can even remove your waterproof uh, mascara using cleansing balm but this one since dia macam membedihkan mata you have to use another makeup remover block to remove your eye makeup baru lah go in with this one but still this is a great product very convenient untuk siapa-siapa yang suka makeup tapi malas nak remove makeup so this one comes in handy so so much so I can use my uh, micellar water to, to remove my eye makeup and I go in with this one to remove all of this sekali go je sekali hilang semua so this one oh by the way this one uh, cost 100 ringgit it's definitely my favorite out of all of this I highly recommend for you to check this out so out of all the products that I just reviewed this one and the lip gloss are my absolute favorite. Only in terms of pricing, it is not macam sangat affordable, but it's not macam mahal gila. But the price is definitely macam up there. When I first tengok harga dia dekat dia punya website, I was macam tujuh puluh ringgit untuk a single lipstick for a local brand. Not that I'm saying local brand tak boleh put that high price tag. Boleh kalau dia macam berkualiti and you know worth it. But I feel macam hmm. But on the other hand, well, it's dark. I mean, what do you expect? Dia punya notebook pun RM70. So, lipstick RM70, okay lah kot. For a dark brand. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys uh, accept my honest review. Jangan lempak dark tower to me, please. So, yeah. That is my honest opinion on dark cosmetics. There are few hit and misses uh, in the dark cosmetic punya products yang mereka ada sekarang ni. Tapi in future, kalau dark cosmetic launch lagi products foundation ka ooh highlighter blusher ka i am keen to try that out so yeah thank you guys for watching i see you guys in my next video bye